Hello everyone, my name is Jessica and today I'm doing a kind of different video, not really, but kind of. So I'm gonna call it popular series I liked but haven't continued on with or something like that. I have two different categories. I have books where I've read more than one book in the series, but I just haven't finished the last one or the third one or the fourth one or whatever. And then I have a stack of books that are either sequels or first book in the series where I've only read the first book and I haven't continued on. And there's a lot of those. There are seven of those. Some of those I own the sequel and the first book and some of them, well, I only own the first book, so, or only own, the, only own the second book, because technically I most likely own both the first and the second book, but a lot of my books are still in storage. Without further ado, let's get started. I'm going to start with the shorter stack, which is the ones where I've read multiple books in the series, but I just haven't finished it. And this does not include books that haven't come out yet. I would just like to point that out. So I only have two books in this category that I noticed. There may be more that I just didn't see. So the first book is the A Court of Thorns and Roses. We'll call this a trilogy. I don't feel as bad about this one because the third book in this trilogy slash series just came out. I'm counting it as a trilogy. In this video but it is a series technically. I have read A Court of Thorns and Roses and I have read A Court of Mist and Fury. I have also reread this book and I am currently rereading A Court of Mist and Fury which is somewhere in there so I'm not gonna get it but pretty much this and one of the other series that I mentioned that released on May 2nd 2017 yeah, um, how do I put this? The UPS lost my package. Basically, they gave it to somebody else by accident. I don't know how that happens, and I'm really mad about it because I don't have a job right now. Guys, I paid money for those books when I didn't have a job, and I don't even have those books right now. And I don't know if I'll ever get those books that I bought back. Rant over. I'm, I'm really mad about that. And that is why I have not finished rereading A Court of Mist and Fury yet. Because I was going to plan on starting it at the beginning of the month. And I didn't start it until like a week ago. And I haven't read a lot. The next trilogy I have is the Shatter Me trilogy by Tahara Mafi. I only have the third book. I don't know where my copy of the second book went because I know I have it here in Alaska, but oh wait, no, it's in my room. It's in a bag in my room that I haven't unpacked yet. So I've read Shatter Me and Unravel Me, but I have not read Ignite Me, which is really sad and I need to read it soon. It's been five years or something since I read Ignite or Shatter Me. I read Shatter Me when, sometime between when Unravel Me came out and when Ignite Me came out. So that gives you a time frame. And I read Unravel Me last year. Then I have the Of Poseidon trilogy. I've read Of Poseidon and Of Triton, but I have not read Of Neptune. Which, it's a really thin book. I should be able to read it, no problem. But I just haven't. This video is getting long, so I'm going to try and move through this next group faster. The first book I want to mention, I do not physically have either the first or the second book with me here. And the second book just came out. That is The Trials of Apollo by Rick Riordan. I read The Hidden Oracle. I could have read The Dark Prophecy by now, but I'm not going to rant about UPS again. I'm really mad about that. So, yeah. Okay, so the rest of these books are in no particular order. I just stack them based on, like, hardcover paperback. 
and size and stuff. So the first series I have is the Daughter of Smoking Bones trilogy by Lainey Taylor. I have read the first one, Daughter of Smoking Bone, but I have not continued on with Days of Blood and Starlight. I don't know why I haven't continued on with this book. I really enjoyed the first one. It wasn't my favorite thing. I feel like maybe I haven't continued on with this because I was slightly disappointed because everyone hypes up Lainey Taylor, but I am planning on continuing on with this series soon. Maybe this video can be like inspiration to continue with the series that I haven't finished yet or hadn't continued on with. Okay, this next one, I also only have the second book, and that is My Life Next Door in the companion novel, The Boy Most Likely To. I loved My Life Next Door, but I have not read The Boy Most Likely To, but I'm not super upset about this because I just bought this one, like, a couple months ago. I think it was in my pre-May book haul. I cannot wait to read this book because I love Huntley Fitzpatrick's writing, but I just haven't gotten to it. The next book I have is the To All the Boys I Loved Before trilogy. Um, I haven't read P.S. I Still Love You, and I haven't read Always and Forever Lara Jean, but that book just came out, so I'm not too far behind on this, plus they're really short, they're quick reads, and I love them. I just read this book this year, so I'm not super bummed about not finishing this series or not continuing on with this series. Then this next one I have both the first and the second books too and that is The Young Elites Trilogy by Marie Lu. I have The Rose Society and it's signed and I haven't read it. I read The Young Elites at the end of 2016 I believe so again not terrible but all three of the books in this trilogy are out, so I don't have any excuses. I only own the first book in this series, so that's part of the reason why I haven't continued on with it. Plus, I read it at the end of 2016. I think I read it right after I read The Young Elites, and that is The Raven Boys by Maggie Steve Otter. I enjoyed this book. It was a little slow in the beginning. But it got really good by the end, and I want to continue on with this series. I don't know what the second book is called. I never can remember the order, but I'm really excited to continue on with this series. I just haven't yet. Another case where I've only read the first book in the series, and I only own the first book in the series, is Red Queen by Victoria Aveyard. The series is ongoing, so I'm kind of delaying it so that I don't get caught up until the last book's coming out soon. So yeah, um, I enjoyed this one. It's not my favorite thing in the world, but it was good. And then I have the last one right here, and that is An Ember in the Ashes by Saba Tahir. I have not read A Torch Against the Night, but that's because the third book in this series doesn't come out until 2018, and I am delaying this. See, this is why I don't like getting caught up with series, because then I might have to wait a year or two years for the next book in the series to come out, and I am not about waiting two years. I, I can wait a year, especially if it's like Cassandra Clare, or Sarah J Mass, or Rick Riordan. If it's one of those authors, I read them as soon as I get them, slash as soon as they come out, because I usually buy them right when they come out. Which is why I'm so salty about not having A Court of Wings and Ruin and not having The Dark Prophecy, because I need to read those, because Lady Midnight is coming out at the end of this month. And I'm going to get behind. That's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed. And I will see you next time with another video. Goodbye.